Salama, welcome to the jungle. My name is Jody, and I'm in Matomiza Forest in Madagascar. It's the montane rainforest. Um, here in the background, a group of injury singing. They've been singing all morning. I think that's actually the group that Alistair was looking for this morning. But I'm watching a group of diademid shifaka, Propithecus diadema. And for the past, oh, I don't know, like half hour, they've been feeding in a tree called a Famaluna tree. I don't know if you can hear it on there, but you can hear them crunching into the, the fruit and eating the seeds inside, and then they spit out the rest. I actually have some in my pocket to show you. Anyways, they love this stuff. They've been eating it every single day we've been seeing them, the, the shifaka have. Um, but also lots of other species, so it seems to be a really important food right now. Here is an example of a female fruit that's been bitten into and it's been like, see there's sticky seeds in there? Well the white stuff is really sticky. Anyways, they get in there and they eat the seeds and then they drop the rest. So it's a lot of work, so those seeds must be really, really high in um, nutrition. And they're eating all of this food, uh, leaves, but mostly fruits, the shifaka. And then their poo, it's remarkable because some animals, some primates, especially in the rainforest, we just got dropped on, are really good at um, dispersing seeds. So they don't actually um, chew the seeds. And so when they poo around the rainforest, that helps spread the rainforest trees and plants. But these guys are what we call um, seed eaters. So they don't disperse them. Their poo, I don't know if you can see that in there, that's poo from the mom earlier this morning, but it's completely ground up. So they actually chew and crunch and, and digest, partially digest the seeds. So that's interesting. And obviously, as we know, things like seeds and nuts are really high in protein and fat. So probably a really important food for these animals right now. And we've been noticing that last year, this time of year, the shifaka were eating a lot, a lot, almost every day, rutra berries. I don't know if you saw our past blogs when they were eating those little juicy red berries. Um, but there was a cyclone here in Maromiza and in Madagascar in February. And apparently the rutra trees got one of the, some of the most damage and the flowers blew off. So there's no fruit on the rutra trees right now, like there was this time last year. So now it seems like famil is the most important food, at least for the shifaka. We've also seen other species eating um, the famil, like Veracea variegata, the, the white and black and white ruffed lemur, and also um, Ulemur fulvus, the brown lemur near a camp. So it seems to be a really important food. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that, of course, we have babies, and these babies um, are going to start trying and testing the foods of the mums pretty darn soon. Now last year they were testing out those little rutcher berries which were just like you know like a, a sweet little blueberry practically. Um, so really easy for a baby to eat. Whereas these famils as I showed you are really hard to get into to get the seeds and then crunch the seeds. I'm not sure if famil will be as good of a first food for the babies or if it will be at all. So that's something to stay tuned for. I hope everyone's doing great, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.